Thanks for taking the time to join me on my channel, Nigel if you on things. How are you doing? How are you keeping? Hope everybody's safe and sound where you are. A very quick video for you, 58 seconds of footage. I think this is very, very important and we've caught this before on different cameras, but I've only caught this a few times in the UK on these cameras. That is a new thing. Anyway, as you can see, the date is the 18th of the 7th, 2019, Thursday, 2050, 21 seconds, 50 minutes past the hour of 8 in the PM, and we're looking at our sun and sun simulator starting to set. Yes, I said simulator. The sun is still there behind it. It's a yellow gas ball. Well, actually think plasma because that actually goes with the whole universe electric universe but anyway the sun simulator is there for a different reason in front of that we've got a lens system and we know we've got a lens system because it gets projected backwards onto the chemtrail particulates as a sun halo and sun dogs but hence there's technology in our sky and if you actually want to know more about what i'm talking about you need to be subscribed don't forget to hit that notification bell because i'm making a number of videos that you may find quite interesting. We're actually here for this object, the lens flare. Every time I see this, I know what's coming. What I've always said about lens flare is a representation of a light source. That object there is being projected as a lens flare just there. We can see the white in the inside. If we actually focus into this object, we would see the representation of what we are actually looking at. Down here, it's very, very purple. It seems to match up with this. That's a coincidence. Let's push the button and play the video. You can see the controls in the background and how it interacts makes it very, very impossible to see anything. Very, very murky in the background. And if you watched the last video, I was talking about the curtain of darkness where well, this object will go sitting into and we've got no chance of seeing what is sitting with it, but we know it's red. Look over here. Why are these not reflective? Hmm, just saying, never mind. As we move the camera around, you can see there's two lens flares. If I move the camera up and down, they will come in line. But uh, yeah, just saying. Like I said, we've seen this effect on multiple cameras. And why are we getting this effect? White, purple, don't forget the sun and sun simulator are over this direction, out of shot. If there's a lens in front of the sun simulator, hey presto, there are a number of lenses up in the sky and we get to see these strange things. Like I've always said, right time, right place, you take a picture, all the angles meet up, you will get something that you weren't expecting. And yeah, looks like we have a drunk driver in our sky. Tut, tut, tut. Bird flying through the sky there. And yeah, still purple, still white with a tinge of orangey red around the outside. Hey, we haven't got a red spinning planet coming towards us at all. Look how purple it is. I'm just saying. And because I've actually only just every now and then caught this, it makes it hard to uh, show you guys. And as you can see, as I move the camera around, it doesn't matter which direction it goes in. And yeah, very, very normal. This is now red. We're getting yellow shafts of light. There looks like there's a ball there. Really? Okay. And just here, what are we looking at? I've caught this many times on many different cameras as well, but it looks like a piece of cheese being cut up. Purple shafts of light here. Well, blue and purple and yellow. I can see a rain, but at any rate, yeah, you don't want to hear me singing. Yellow, red, purple. Of course, this is just totally normal. What it is, is the coating on the lens of the camera causing this effect. Must be. There is no technology in our skies. You're a nutter. Have a look at this. If you think this looks normal, well, there you go. If you can see these two lens flares, 
they are totally, totally different from each other. Representation of the light source. So what I'm looking at here is the lens in front of the sun simulator is just twisted just in that certain direction and we get this effect off the side of it. Like I said, there are a number of lenses. This is one of those things that you should not be able to see on camera. At any rate, there's the curtain of darkness just there. Yellow is our sun. White is our sun simulator. Red is the red spinning planet. And, um, oh, it's a purple. What two colors make purple? At any rate, look at the sky. It looks totally normal. Don't forget, a few years ago, we were talking about chemtrails. They didn't exist. And we were ridiculed. For, that was easy for me to say. About this. Now, they're using geoengineering programs and they've come out and told us all, I don't want to be really picky about this, but who now has got egg on their face because it is real. And we were talking about this many channels a few years ago. At any rate, let me show you the other videos and I'll leave links to this in the description box down below. Nice and simple for everybody to find. It's in this video, this video, this video, and this video, there's nothing wrong. All the cameras in the world are faulty. At any rate, you don't have to agree with one word that I say. Looking around the world, looking at the news, everything in the world is absolutely rosy and absolutely fine. The weather is, oh, top of the world. They can't even make their minds up whether it is going to be sunny or it's going to rain or, yeah. At any rate, that's all I've got for you now. Much love, much peace, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.